Hey all, welcome to my YouTube class. I am Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. In this class, I am going to help you how we can transfer the data from Windows operating system to Mac and vice versa from Mac operating system to the Windows. This is really important topic because you know that nowadays each and every client they are going to set up their infrastructure, they are going to provide the Mac operating system based machine to their employees. So as a system administrator, not now but maybe after one year or two year you are responsible to take care of the troubleshooting part related to the Mac operating system. So I'll try to give you the proper series based on uh, Apple certified engineer content. But for now, let me help you to understand about the procedure to transfer the data between Windows to Mac and vice versa. So let me move ourselves to the screen. But before that, if you are new on my YouTube channel, if you are watching my video first time, do subscribe because Teach Me Cloud is a single technical training based YouTube channel that give you 100% live practical based videos without skip any step. So I'm moving ourselves to the screen and uh, after that we'll show you the all steps that required to transfer data between Mac to Windows. So let me show you. Now we are on the screen of our system. So I hope you guys are able to see my screen. And basically the current operating system that I'm using in my Apple device, let me identify the type of operating system that I'm currently using. It's a Sonomo 14.5. This one is the latest version of a, a Mac operating system. As you know that N number of Mac operating systems are available like, uh, I hope you heard about the Catalina, Big Sur, right monetary n number of operating systems are, are available uh, for apple device so now we are trying to perform the task of data sharing with the help of sonomo 14.5 operating system so meanwhile let me take the rdp of our windows computer because we are going to perform the live practical so it's mandatory to access our server uh, mandatory to access our windows base machine as well Fine. So this is our Windows 11 computer and this one is our uh, Mac operating system. So our agenda as we decided, we are going to send some files from our Mac to Windows and vice versa. We'll send some data from Windows and we'll try to access from the Mac operating system. So as you know that whenever we perform the task related to the data sharing, you must need to involve some protocols like if you are trying to send data between Windows operating system so NTFS sharing can help you, right? If you work, if you want to share same data, same file to multiple platforms like for Mac operating system, for Windows operating system, for Linux operating system, you always proceed and share the data with the help of SMB protocol, right? Because the Mac operating system uh, uses SMB protocol to access the data to transfer the data to any platform. So what you need to do, let me try to understand, uh, try to describe about uh, the agenda, how we can perform the task related to the data sharing. For example, like uh, we established one Mac operating system. This is our Mac machine. All right and this one is our Windows operating system. In case of Mac operating system, we established uh, like Sonomo 14.5. This one is the latest version of operating system. In case of Windows, we are using Windows 11 operating system. Both machine must be connected from same switch, means both machine must be pinged to each other. And after that, we'll follow the step to transfer data and we'll try to access the same data from Mac computer. Next, so I wanted to share data from our Windows computer and then same data will access from our Mac operating system. So back to our Windows computer and in the Windows machine, I'm going to open my computer. Uh, you can see that this PC multiple drives we are able to find download virtual machine software personal document 
So let me open software folder and in the software folder, I wanted to share all the ISO image that I downloaded in my Windows computer. Right click on folder, go to the properties and click on sharing. Under the sharing, we just need to click on advanced sharing, same procedure we need to use. This is considered as a NTFS sharing. So I am going to share this particular folder for everyone means anyone that contain that that know about the user ID and password of our source computer anyone can access our uh, ISO image so yes I wanted to share this folder for everyone apply and ok clear but before that you also need to verify the IP address that you are getting in Windows machine open run type IP config so our Windows machines machine contain the IP address of 192.168.1.13 and as it is, let me check the IP address, the uh, IP address of our, uh, uh, what we can say that uh, Mac operating system. So our Mac operating system contain the IP address of, click TCP IP, 192.168.1.2. This is the IP address for our Mac machine. Let me check communication between each other, right? Let me try to communicate. Uh, our Mac machine ping is space 192.168.1.2 we are able to get reply from Mac side and uh, also let me check vice versa ping is space 192.168.1.13 this is the IP address of our Windows machine prerequisite if you want to transfer any data or service between both the operating system it's mandatory we must need to um, we make sure both machine must be communicate to each other everything is okay we successfully transfer data share data from our uh, windows machine and let's try to understand about how we can access the same data from our mac operating system so very basic steps required we are on desktop and over our desktop we are able to find one option go just need to click on the go icon click connect to server and this is the panel where we need to provide the IP address of our source computer source computer in the sense like I'm talking about the Windows machine 192.168.1.13 this is the IP address of our Windows computer you need to provide the same uh, IP address and click connect definitely it will ask you user ID and password you must need to provide the credential and here we are able to find the OS image that we just shared this is the type of folder if you are going to open it it will give you the information about the all ISO image that you uh, uploaded in this particular folder if you check again from client side from 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 Windows machine so we are able to find all the ISO image available we are able to access same ISO image from the Mac operating system is all right guys and now this is clear about the data sharing now i'm going to share one data from our mac machine and we'll try to access same data through our windows computer so what are the steps required multiple folders we are able to find on desktop id csr avd multiple aws right multiple folders we are able to find over a mac operating system desktop to share any data from mac machine you just need to click on apple icon click on system setting and whenever we click on the system setting it will redirect you on the page of you can say that uh, uh, our control panel yes this is uh, you can consider it as a control panel of uh, mac operating system click on journal tab in the journal tab we are able to find right side we are able to find multiple options our responsibility to click on sharing under the sharing part we are able to find file sharing media sharing screen sharing contact caching so we are trying to transfer we are trying to share folder from mac machine to windows make sure file sharing must be turned on click on i button and whenever we click on the i button it will give us option it will provide a two different option one is shared folder and another you need to add the user do you want to share this particular folder for everyone do you want to uh, uh, share this particular folder for specific user so second panel is related to the user where we can assign the user who is responsible to access your shared folder I'm going to click on the plus icon and it will give you option to select that type of folder select uh, the folder that you are planning to share
Okay, let me click on I button and then select plus I can go to the desktop. Yes, I wanted to share data, share folder that I uh, created on desktop. So, this is the list of folder that are available on desktop. So, I wanted to share ID. This is the folder. Which user is applicable to access this particular folder? So, click on plus icon again. It will give, give us the access of uh, the user account because we are unable to find any users, right? So, let me add our root account, provide password for SMB. So, let me provide the password. Fine. So, I wanted to authorize this particular user to access my, uh, access the folder that we shared and click OK. Back to our Windows computer, same procedure you need to use to access your shared folder that shared by uh, Mac operating system and provide the IP address 192.168.1.2. It will redirect you on the page, provide the user ID and password. So, I am going to provide user ID and password. It will give us access of, this is Macintosh HD hard drive and ID, the folder that we shared from the Mac computer, you are able to access from uh, Windows operating system. So, guys, this is all about the data sharing between Windows to Mac and Mac to Windows. I hope you guys are able to understand about all the steps that we need to perform to transfer data from one platform to another platform. For more information, please stay tuned with Teach Me Cloud. I will try to give you full series of Mac operating system. So, do subscribe. We will connect soon with another video. Take care guys. Bye-bye.